Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to my crazy Monday. I just sliced up this nectarine. No, is that what it's called? It is called a nectarine. I was calling it a clementine in my last video. I mean, it sounded delicious. The first few bites were delicious. And then all of a sudden it started tasting like I shouldn't be eating it, almost like chemically. I'm gonna let it sit there for a while and come back to it later. We got something cool for the backyard. I wanna show you. So in my last vlog, I cleaned out some bushes in the backyard, kind of just like the little first step to creating the backyard we've always wanted. Last night, we got something to add to the backyard and I'm gonna show it to you and I'm super excited That's the new thing. It's not new. It was a hand-me-down But I'm so excited because I was gonna buy a brand new one eventually and to have one just gifted to us is amazing Obviously, if you can't tell what it is, it is a fire pit. It's a wood fire pit. I literally can't wait we're eventually gonna get chairs to go around it so we can hang out here in the fall and winter months at night and just sit by the fire and hang out. And then also eventually I wanna get a dining set to go here underneath the patio. Big things coming, this was just step one and I can't wait. Now I'm like itching to buy the chairs so we can like get this thing going, but I'm so pumped. Look at this sweet boy. <laughs> Next line of business is today's workout. I do not want to work out. I have to do it so I don't ruin my streak on my app. So here's what we're gonna do. I just clear out this space on the rug and I literally just find a different YouTube video every day to work out to. Workout is done. I finished my nectarine. It tasted fine. I don't know what was wrong with me earlier. Made a big girl purchase a few minutes ago. It's a period cup. I bought a period cup. I'm so sick and tired buying tampons and liners and pads and everything so often. It gets so expensive, especially when you're me and you have to buy the organic ones. So I was just over it. I said, forget it. I'm spending $25 on a period cup and I bought it. It'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> Muffins are ready. I was showing you guys the ingredients at first and then I kind of like got ahead of myself and stopped showing you the ingredients So this is them done, but I'm gonna link the recipe down below for you guys on Pinterest in case you want to try I did make some adjustments, so I'll put that in the description too. Then we have our chili Six servings. I'm excited to try these though. I have to tell you guys. We'll do a taste test and see how they are Mmm, it looks good on the inside. Yeah, it's good. You tried it already? Yeah. I want to try it and then I want to try it drizzling more honey on top. It's good, but it's not really jalapeno y. There's like an essence of jalapeno. This is hot honey. Okay, adding the honey on it is not good. It's too sweet. That. It's too sweet. It's making my nose run, but it doesn't oh. taste spicy. Yeah. That bite of cornbread was so spicy because it had the jalapeno on it. Oh man. Oh man. It was hot.
Look what came in today. This is the period cup I bought. I went with the Lena brand. There's quite a few different ones on Amazon. I just went with this one because it was cheaper, to be completely honest. And they had two different sizes. I just got the small because it said the small is better if you're like a first time user. I've always been scared to try a period cup and that's why like it took me so long to switch over. Like I feel like people have been using these for years now. Um, I've always been kind of scared of them because I don't really understand the concept if I'm being completely honest I'm scared that this thing will like get stuck in me or something I don't get it so this is what it looks like again this is a small size I think you're supposed to fold it up like this to insert it and then it'll open up inside of you and then it catches everything and then this sticks out like your tampon would and then you pull it out and that's how you get it out but part of me is terrified that for some reason it's gonna like continue to go up i don't know it just scares me that it's like not just gonna sit where it should be that's gonna like somehow go further up and then be stuck inside of me and won't be able to get it out but apparently um that's not something to be worried about because i've never heard that happen to someone oh perfect it's giving me a user code as well so i will put the link down below so if you want to get one you can i'm gonna try it out i'll give you guys an update on it probably tomorrow because i'm gonna use it today so you're supposed to be able to wear it for like 12 hours this is just the information i've like read online you never really have to change it obviously because you don't have to worry about toxic shock syndrome it clearly holds like a decent amount and it's like a really nice what is this like rubber material oh it's silicone it's medical grade this is see i don't get this part if you're going to the bathroom and you feel like you need to empty it say you're in a public place and you feel like you need to empty it you take it out and you're in the stall how are you supposed to rinse it off before putting it back in if you're in the stall because this part okay if you are don't like blood or you're a guy click off this is not for you but okay so say this was in you it's now bloody you poured it into the toilet you're still in a public restroom you poured it out you need to put it back in even if you were to put it back in without rinsing it you're gonna have to go like this with it to fold it to put it back in now you have blood on your hands and then you have to like pull your pants back up and everything to get to the sink like you know what i mean how does this work in a public setting i guess the point of it is that you don't have to really empty it out except like in the morning and before bed i guess but like i'm scared of that i feel like i bleed more than normal but maybe i just don't because i don't know how much anyone else bleeds obviously that's that's my period cup information for you i'll have the lena linked down below if you guys want to check it out okay big oopsie on my part i forgot to give you an update on how the period cup went i'm a big fan it was so nice to have that okay here's a couple details that i feel are important don't know if this is related but i had a significantly shorter period than normal by like two entire days which is so not like me so that was really awesome don't know if it's related um could not feel the cup inside of me at all very very comfortable zero leaking which was so amazing didn't have to wear a liner or anything like that like completely zero leaking pretty easy to use i would say the only part i didn't love was putting it in is a little bit difficult i think that's just going to take practice and then taking it out actually hurt a little bit but again, I think that might just like take practice and I'll get used to it. But other than that, like 100% thumbs up. I'm a huge big fan. Like I'm so excited to have it and I highly recommend you get one. So again, I have it linked down below and I believe it's a 10% off coupon as well. So make sure you check the description for that. Hello you guys, happy Wednesday. Actually already 3 p.m. I've been having a very relaxed day. I'm gonna give you a rundown of what I did today. I had blueberry baked oats this morning, which was so yummy. Did my usual quiet time, did a workout. I did a 30 minute Zumba on YouTube, that was fun. Got dressed for the day, watched a lot of TikTok. I have not been on TikTok in a long time and it just felt good today to just lay on the rug <laughs> in the living room and watch TikTok, so that took up like probably an hour of my time went in the backyard and cleaned up all of those dead bushes i pulled out last week did some laundry here we are i want to make my coffee i've been in this weird routine of not having coffee in the morning and then having it later in the day and i kind of like it i started a new tv show yesterday on netflix i think it's called good girls 
but for some reason in my head that sounds wrong but i think that's what it is i started it yesterday i watched the first three episodes and then i was telling zachary that i watched it and he's like are you kidding we're supposed to watch that together i totally forgot so we're gonna start it i'm gonna start it over tonight and watch that show with him every time speaking of zachary he's calling hello Oh, hi. Who's this? Did I call the number? No. Oh, you're just excited to talk to me. That was now. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> guys i have this sleepy boy we've just been watching youtube this morning on the couch get the windows open i'm filming on my phone so sorry if it's kind of weird but it's so beautiful outside it was like 60 degrees when we woke up i have to move the curtain otherwise it blows in the wind and then the dog barks and it's a mess but we've been enjoying our morning here i have to show you guys you see this on the wall i'm gonna get up and show you funny story about this if you can see we had to cut out the drywall and then this is one of the pipes where water drains and if you can see the hole in it there's a story behind Behind that so we just hung up these pictures um probably two weeks ago now i think it was a while to actually finally do it i'm still in the middle of our living room renovation video because it's still not done there's still a few things i need to buy to finish decorating and stuff but in the process of getting these frames hung up we happened to drill into a pipe in the wall and we talked to a few people because like we're first-time homeowners we don't know all of this stuff apparently it's kind of a common thing for when people are building the house they get lazy and put the pipes too close to the walls so this is what happened so that was a mistake on their half but also we also drilled further into the wall than necessary so it's still also kind of our fault but <laughs> We noticed the other day, I think almost a week ago now, that there was a leak. There was a pool of water here on the floor. We couldn't tell where it was coming from because we didn't like really inspect it. We just saw that the floor was wet and figured there was a leak coming through the wall, like behind the wall somehow, but we never found where it was actually coming from. And it was only once, so we let it be. And then two days ago, Zachary was showering and I came down and I saw that it was leaking. We had a screw in the wall and just one string of water was coming down and pulling on the ground. So I'm like, oh crap, it's coming from behind the picture frame. I took it out and sure enough, that's where the water was coming from. So then yesterday we cut the hole out because we were told we might be able to fix it ourselves. And it seems like we will be able to fix it ourselves. That's what's going on now. We have to patch this up, redo the drain drywall, repaint it and everything, and then figure out how to now rehang the picture. So that's what we've been dealing with, and that means that the living room renovation is going to take even longer. I was finally ready to buy the last few things and be done with it, and then of course this happened at the perfect time, and it's so crazy that they say when you're a homeowner, everything goes wrong at once, and that is so true because we've had an issue for a while now. This quality is so bad. I'm gonna switch to my camera. Oh my gosh, so much better. Okay, so we have had this issue for a while now in the kitchen, and I think I talked about it before because I remember someone commented and said you need to check this out sooner than later. We still have not, but our fridge randomly leaks and leaves a puddle on the ground but we could never tell exactly where it's coming from and it happens very rarely certain seasons of in like weather seasons i'll notice it does it more often and then other seasons it barely does it at all so it hasn't happened in a while but randomly i'll just see a pool of water near the corner of the floor of the fridge because it happens and we don't notice it usually happens in the middle of the night which is weird too but normally in the morning when we get up and see it it has been sitting water up next to the cabinet so that part of the cabinet is now warped from 
the water and it continues to get worse and it's an issue we need to fix but we don't want to fix the cabinet without replacing the fridge because we don't want to fix the cabinet and then have the fridge ruin the now fixed cabinet so that's like a big expense we're feeling like to do that all at once and in purchasing a new fridge we also want to <laughs> there's so much we also want to um, install a fresh water system. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but basically there's some stuff you can add underneath your cabinet system, underneath your kitchen sink to get filtered water and you get a spout right here. And then you can just refill filtered water from your spout at the sink, which would mean we could get rid of this water filter thing. But in order to do this, we also need the fridge pulled out at the same time because there's some kind of wiring thing you have to do with what comes behind the fridge because that's where the water source would be, which would then tap into here. It's a whole thing. So basically we would need to do the fridge the cabinet and the fresh water source all at the same time, which would cost a lot of money, which is why we haven't done it. And now we have the hole in the wall, which is main priority. So we don't start to get mold and then have to redo the entire wall and make it a bigger issue. But also so you can get a close up this, it's pretty bad. Um, it's not affecting the inside of the cabinet, which tells me that's a good sign. It's not all the way through, but it is pretty bad down here you can see it's lifting up the paint on the edge and then this right here it's like literally squishy which is so bad and the squish comes all the way to about here that's a big chunk and i don't know how you fix cabinets i have no idea i've never been in that business before but i'm nervous that they will have to replace like the entire section you know what I mean? Because this is a little bit of an issue too, higher up on the cabinet. So I don't know how that goes, but in the case that they have to replace the whole piece because it was installed as one piece, I might just go ahead and say, well, then we're going to do the whole thing like the whole thing because I don't like this color cabinet anyways. So if that becomes the solution, I'm gonna say bite the bullet and do it all and just completely redo the kitchen. That's a little insight to what's been going on in our home recently. Being a homeowner is so cool until this happens because you no longer have a landlord to be like, hey, I have an issue, can you fix it? It's all on you to fix. But the upside is that Vegas homes right now are so much more valuable than they were when we purchased. We bought right before COVID hit, like three months before. And so the value of houses has gone immensely up. So even if we do have to spend a crazy amount of money to fix all of these current issues, even redoing the whole kitchen, we would still profit currently selling the house with all of the renovations because the value of the house is up so high compared to when we bought it. So that's at least like a comforting sign, I guess. I don't know if you guys really cared to hear all of that information, but I thought I would share because that's really like what's going on in our lives today. But I feel like this vlog has gotten kind of long, so I'm gonna end it here. I appreciate you guys for always watching and supporting. I love seeing your supportive comments. It literally means the world to me. So thank you. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.